Hello, this is my first real video for the Cancelathon, and oh, I'm excited. Um, so I want to talk about the Blood Air, which is book one of the Blood Air trilogy. This book caused a lot of controversy. I had the original ARC, and I still got that, and I remember thinking, what the hell is everyone talking about? But as someone pointed out so happily in the comments of another video of mine, that Booktube tends to see everything from a very American viewpoint, and people do forget that there are countries outside of America with different laws, different rules, and different relationships with race, gender, and sexuality. I mean, America is far from perfect with those things, but that's a whole different debate. The Blood Air was cancelled because of its air quotes racism, because of similarities between its portrayal of slavery and its um, an American slavery. It was also cancelled because apparently the writer had taken screenshots of reviews, which I don't really see the big deal. I think a lot of people cancelled this book because they were jealous. This girl came from nowhere. No one had heard of her, she had no real following, but she got the big deal. And I think a lot of it was jealousy, and that's... And I won't go into details, but I've seen a lot of group chats and screenshots of people who I won't name talking about how she doesn't deserve this and how they should because they've got big followings. So let's talk about this book as a book. So its nearest relative is Nevernight by J. Kristoff. This is dark bloody fantasy. She is a princess, her father is an emperor who is murdered, her world is shattered, framed as, his own fa uh, framed as her own father's killer. She flees the place to save her life. To clear her name, she must find her father's murderer, and that's what this is about. You realise that this owes a lot to Game of Thrones, in the sense it's quite political fantasy, and it does bear some similarities to Nevernight, but that's not a criticism, that's actually a bonus for me. I like her writing style, I like her energy levels in this book, I like her, uh, her world building is very good. I also like the characters, yes, they're a little bit cardboard cut out, of the typical YA fantasy fair, but they're better than most, which is surprising. You get pulled into this conspiracy, this plan, a criminal lord and some craziness, and you just, you go with it. It's actually a very easy read, and it's just beautifully put together and beautifully timed. It does suffer from being held back by its readership, as in the sense of this would work better as an adult fantasy, I think being YA held it back in the sense that it couldn't quite go to the places it wanted to, and it needed to bring the story, make, a li make the story a little bit easier to consume. Again, that's not necessarily a criticism, it's just my notes on the book. I would give this a good solid 7.5 out of 10, because you just get pulled in. You can't put this down. It's dark, it's bloody, it's enjoyable. Yes, it's not quite never night and this is very much a um very much the first book in a trilogy my god you can tell that especially towards the end because you're thinking there's no way half of this stuff is going to get wrapped up by the end of this book just i was surprised at how good it was and i was genuinely surprised now comparing the arc to the final print version there are minor changes, obviously, and I do, to be honest, the changes haven't changed anything in terms of story. Some of the changes, and I'll leave this to your own imagination, the word usage changes here and there, and slightly different emphasis on different parentheses, but that's not, again, it's not a criticism, it actually tightens up the book a bit here and there. There's some stuff that's been taken out that was just internal monologues that weren't needed in the ARC. But it comes down to censorship, and I do worry that when I saw, like, passive-aggressive tweets going, oh, I'm so happy, she heard the criticism, she's changing her book. An artist should never apologise for their work, even if you don't agree with it. It's not your place. And that's coming from an artist. <laughs> Ego talking. But, no, this is genuinely a beautiful and a beautiful atmospheric book and I am actually looking forward to reading book two and three I want to see where this trilogy goes because my god it's good it's really good <laughs>
So have you read it? What did you think of it? And how are you enjoying the cancelled reader fun? More videos for the cancel fun coming up and my normal videos as well. Bye guys. Thank you.